What do you think, Kobe? Pretty cool paint job, right? Let's go show Steve. Don't eat my sandwich. Be right back. There he is. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing, Steve? Good. Good to see you. Everybody, this is Stephen Bird. He and his brother own Cascade Customs and Design here in yep. Central Oregon in Bend. And we have a beautiful, he does a lot of Lance Air work. So I got into aviation as a part-time job when I was going to college. I started building experimental airplanes, Lance Airs. And then oh. um, there was a need for paint. And I kind of had a paint ground from my earlier days. Uh, 2015, we opened the doors here. It's awesome. been a rat race ever since. What else do you have that we could check out maybe after the VR? You got. Anything um, else going right now? We do have another um, Lancer next door. We have an Evolution. And then in the far hangar, we have uh, a Lancer Mako that's completely raw that just arrived. And we are nice. kind of getting ready to start in on that one. Very cool. Oh my gosh, this tail. I've been seeing this on Instagram. Uh, speaking of which, let's plug your business. Where can people go to find your website? And if you're on Instagram, I know you are. <laughs> so Instagram, um, it's going to be at CCD paint. Um, and then website is uh, ccdpaint.com. So you okay. can check out all our stuff there. Awesome. Yep. And I assume people come here from all over because all over. I mean, it, yeah, European. We've had, oh, wow. I mean, Red Bull stuff, the air race thing we got involved with that guy was from Australia. So that's probably the farthest way we've had. Oh my gosh. So okay. everywhere. Well, okay. And so obviously my paint design is from aircraft studio design, which is Mirko Pecorari. Yes. And it's been awesome working with him. Yep. You've worked with his paint schemes before, have you not? Correct. So we've done um, four projects that, that he did the design work on. We did two Stratos jets, um, a Reno air race plane called Relentless. And then we also did uh, an evolution, the, the piston evolution that they did. He did the oh, yeah. design work for. So, okay. Yep. Well, awesome. But you've never seen his work on virtual reality? No, or everything we get is the normal sketches and layout. So I'm excited to show him to, to pick his brain. One, to see what he thinks of the paint job, if there's any issues or whatnot, see if we need to tweak anything. Right. Uh, and then number two, see how he likes it as a, as a tool, see if it's going to yeah. help him and help conceptualize and make the maybe the painting process uh, go that much better. So without further ado, let's get the headset on you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go ahead and set those on? All right, we've got it all set up. Cool. Essentially to navigate, you we talked a little bit about this. You make a gun, you turn it sideways, and then you pull the trigger. Yep, exactly, and you can navigate around. So um, feel free to explore the space. So we have a full-size scale airplane, and then we have a um, about a fifth scale model that you can fully interact with and, and move around. You can grab it, you can put it up in the sky, you can shrink it, you can make it big. The paint colors, um, you know, are, are essentially, I, th I think they're fairly close, but they're flat. So they're not gonna show the metallic flake represented in them. Right. So it's really just to, to get a basic concept as well as see how the lines are gonna interact with the aircraft. Right. So I imagine on, you know, say a Lance Air or something with a lot more, you know, curvaceous uh, shapes, that might be a lot better for you to to right. so a lot enable. of times we get designs and everything comes to us on just you know a flat piece of paper and then we get top view bottom view and the two sides and then we have to figure out how those interact on like that third dimension of wrapping around like from you know the side to the bottom or something like that and sometimes it's not very accurate and we we just don't know or it just doesn't work that way so with this we can actually see what the designer intends as things transition from one plane to another, which is really nice because now we can fully, uh, you know, capture what the designer had intended from the beginning instead of us just kind of making it up. Yeah, this is really cool. Nice. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, what I like about that is you can see how it would look, you know, taken off or at a distance when right. it's flying directly over the top of you. How does the belly look? Yep, you get every orientation from this. What's your f initial initial thoughts on how this paint job's gonna go. Dude, I think this is a really cool paint job. Um, it's It's got some like, you know, kind of classic straight lines, but it also has just some modern tweaks to it. Um, the color scheme is cool. I really like the lighter gray with the darker gray, and then, you know, you get the red with the bold pop that will really make it stand out. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of fighting the natural tendency in aviation where everybody just wants like the swoopy, curvy lines. Mm -hmm. um, not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with it, but it is nice different. to see, this, you know, 
And I personally, I think that people see other people's planes and they want to kind of copy it. And and so we get a whole bunch of designs that are very similar. Yeah. Um, and so this is a different design, which is fantastic. Plus, I also think that Mirko kind of pushes that limit with getting different designs that aren't just the most you know copy and paste scenarios. Hey, this is uh, this is Steven's brother Brian, co-owner of Cascade Customs and Design. You can make fun of your brother yeah. <laughs> all you want right now. I've never seen this before. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we'll get it on you. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for that. Let's let's get um, a tour of the rest of this uh, this yeah, facility, awesome. and then yeah, headset off, and then uh, get Brian, your brother, yeah. on it. Other projects we have in the shop right now, um, like I mentioned before, we are just wrapping up detail and clean up on this evolution here. Um, this was a previously painted one, um, but a new owner got it and he wanted to put his own personal spin on the plane. So it's a whole new design. Hardly anyone ever uses green. Yeah. And we really like to green on this. So yeah, I do too. So in here we have a partially painted 172. We got into the paint process and then we, we found some um, some damage, so we had to just pump the brakes on it, um, let the mechanics do the repair work, and then we're gonna finish up the fuselage paint uh, later on, add all the graphics and make it pretty. Um, back here in the back corner, we have another Lancer. Uh, it's a Lancer Mako. And this one pretty much just arrived, so it's very raw. Um, we haven't done really anything to it at all. This is how it pretty much comes from the builder. It does have a BRS shoe. Yeah, this is the Kevlar strap here. So this is a fiberglass, and then these are these are carbon fiber like seams. over the seams. Okay, that's right. So flying around, it'll look strange with the fixed gear main gears, but then a retractable nose gear. So you trust Steve <laughs> a lot. This is my first paint job with him. Actually, you touched up my bonanza. Thanks for that. Yep. Yep. Hey, you can leave it with him and not have any worries. <laughs> that's great. That's Steve will do an excellent job. Yeah. So he it's works. The only place to have your plane yeah. paint. He works with both, obviously both metal and uh, composites. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you have a preference? What do you like working with more? I put you hard. on the spot. It's, yeah. it's hard because we started with this. I know this. This is just second nature to me. And we yeah. kind of learn metal as you go. But I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. new metal is super easy to work with. Yeah, all right. Stripping old planes <laughs> is miserable. Okay. And so yeah. it really That's... depends. You know, if I have a new composite and a new metal, mm -hmm. well, I, the new metal is probably easier to work with than composite because you have to do so much body work. I'm learning that just in my carbon fiber cowling. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's 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 it sands easily. It drills fairly easily. Eats up bits. So come on in and then <laughs> put that on. That's wild. Uh. <laughs> you can stand up. You won't hit your head on the wing. <laughs> 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 to get to the bottom, the checkerboard pattern. We have two grids that come down and everything's rolling. Everything has to come to angles. Sure. So nothing can be a real square on the bottom. So like. In this application, we'd be able to see that, you know, right from the beginning, and we know. Versus us, just like, well, this is what we have to do because we made sure that on this that the grid goes down, and it's still in the same plane on the horizontals, wrapping around, and then down again. You know what I mean? So everything's like perfectly in line. It's not just random hodgepodge. Everything lines up and flows. Why? He's still tripping over yeah, here. Yeah, you know, there's also oil over here. <laughs> there's that oil. It's already dripping oil. Yeah, <laughs> yellow, yellow paint. Or is that actually on our floor? See? Yeah. Same thing I said. No, that's actually in the rendering. Because <laughs> I was like, who dumped the yellow? I just sprayed yellow paint yesterday, too. Oh. So that's why I was like, wait, did I dump the yellow? This, Showing is this is really cool. That's my favorite area where all those gray lines come together and then one red comes back. Kind of yeah. like a Thunderbird. That's what you I was know. like, like a Phoenix or yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't inspired by the Thunderbirds, but heck, I'm Air Force, so I, you know. I'll take it. We, we call them the Thunder Chickens in the F-15 <laughs> world, because. So imagine playing video games in that realm, right? You guys, <laughs> I am so excited to get the airplane painted. I'm so excited you guys are doing it, and that we're figuring out this cool new technology yeah. and uh, yep. seeing how it works. and. And, uh, and Mirko, hey man, thanks so much for this. This was super yeah, fun. Work. I've got six work days until you guys get my airplane. <laughs> uh, thanks good again, work. guys. Yep, good seeing you. Until next time, you're yep. clear direct. <laughs>